right, everybody. So we are headed to Emily's parents' house for day three of demolition. Yeah. We got after it yesterday. Pretty tired, honestly, a little beaten up, but we're full of energy this morning. We're bright and happy. So we'll catch you up on today's to-do list. The main items on our list are taking out the AC unit and ripping up part of the flooring. Time to tackle these guys right here. So I don't exactly know where to start. I just literally am gonna be following wires that we've already cut to things that hopefully don't matter or isn't going to affect our bus and hope for the best. <laughs> Em, do you want to do this? What? Wire. Do I want to do this? Yeah, do you want a wire? Not really, but I have to. Are you comfy? Are you so comfy? <laughs> Just a lot. That's the wood from the roof that we took off and yeah, she's was... scraping it. That's about, I mean, you, that's self-explanatory there. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shout at you. Alright All right, guys, so we are trying to get this little guy out of here and we're having an issue because with the back side of it, it is connected up into the ceiling. And whenever you look at this, you can follow this hose which I'm guessing has all of the coolant and stuff like that in there. So we are following the source. We get into this poorly styrofoamed area. <laughs> well, no one said we were experts. We just plug and play and see what works. A little update guys. Ryan and I called a professional to get enough confidence to remove the AC unit from the back end. We were trying to follow all these hoses on the other side to go to the front end. So we're gonna have to basically try and cap this on the back side and then cap it on the front side and then cut all the hose in the middle to hopefully not mess up the front AC unit. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Alrighty. Let's get it out of here. Bye! This is all natural, organic bedding. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys a little progress update. That's just basically everything we have torn out and we might keep and reuse. As well as on this side, the AC unit is gone. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! rest of the night scraping all the glue off the ceiling 
said goodbye to Pegasus, and went home for some much-needed rest. We came back throughout the week to finish up a few tasks that needed to get done. All right, everybody, so we are back in Pegasus today. We're back, we're back, we're back. During the week, me, Ryan, and Chris were out here. We're actually doing some work underneath the hood. Bottom line, we're, we're gonna disconnect the two hoses there. Here, remove them out, out to up inside the cab. All right, and then we'll worry about the electrical thing here in just a few minutes. It's gonna take me about an hour to get this apart. Yeah, I understand. Maybe a little longer, who knows, okay? Understand. Okay. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Ryan and I potentially made a thousand dollar mistake uh, in the bus by cutting some hose lines too early. Uh, so we are not necessarily stressed, not necessarily upset. Could have potentially been something that we we're gonna to have to do anyways. Uh, so we're trying to assess the problem now and uh, figure out our next plan of action. But there are also these two hoses uh, that were connected here with some wiring. And apparently with this model of the bus, everything was connected uh, up top. This was the condenser that was up top on the fan unit that Ryan and I were looking at earlier, which we believed was only for the, uh, for the back unit. All right, so we did just remove the extra hoses that were in this corner piece, the, uh, the extra styrofoam. So we still have all these wires, of course, still sitting up here. That will be task number two, but uh, we at first have to figure out and resolve the issue with the front and the back wiring uh, and the condenser unit. All right, so this is the new condenser that is going in the front of things. And Chris is working on some of the bolts and wiring system that's gonna go inside this little section right here. Old AC lines and are currently putting in the new ones. And we will make it work. We left the inside alone, Emily. As you can see, uh, we have not done anything on the inside, which means we get to rip up the floors. I can't really tell you why I wanted to rip up the floors, but we soon found out it was probably the most difficult part. <laughs> yeah, let me turn this <laughs> Got a professional over here. Like, oh. Just oh. too soon. Where Oh. Yeah. Ugh, did you hear that noise? Yeah. Crazy. 
it's delicious. So the, the Sparks, I, it's good to wear gloves, but I mean, you don't have to. It just feels like you're cooking bacon, so I prefer <laughs> to wear the gloves. <laughs> I don't like bacon popping on you. I will have to say that using the angle grinder was probably my favorite part. up all the floor except for those little guys we kind of cut around it so we're gonna have to go under the bus to get those out but yeah looks really good we're really liking this wood in here this was already in here so pretty sweet Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned next week when we clean up some of the wires and put a huge hole in our bus. We're, we're going with the Flintstone method because it's a lot cheaper. 